Hello people, this is Self Turts and in this video we'll see how to install Baboon and what actually Baboon is. So I'll go to my Chrome browser and here I will search for Baboon. So on searching for it, this gives me a GitHub page and a GitHub IO page. So IO page is basically a website that we can make on GitHub. So I'll go to this uh, link and here you can see some details about Baboon. So the first line that it says is a window shell you will love. So often people, those who work on Windows feel that there is not a perfect terminal or shell that they get. Most of the time we work on Linux environment or Unix environment. So all the command means most of the command in Linux and Unix are same. But when, but when we come to the Windows world, then there is so much difference and we don't uh, feel at home. So what this Baboon does, it gives you a Linux line environment in your Windows shell. So we'll take a quick look on the important things that Baboon provides. So there's a pre-configured SIGWIN with lot of add-ons. So how Baboon provides us the Linux-like Linux -like environment is because of the SIGWIN. SIGWIN is a project which mimics Linux-like environment in your Windows cell. So you can install software uh, in your Windows just like you install in Linux environment. So you can install those uh, file from their source code and you can run those software in windows it also provides you with a pack which is a which is an advanced package manager so this is most important point for baboon that it gives you a pack package manager and you it is same as apt or yum so as you want to install something with yum in linux so you we what we do we say yum install and the name of the packet same way we can install other softwares inside our windows by using packed come advanced package manager uh, it it supports this plugin oriented architecture and there is a z cell present inside it uh, the update features are very much good in baboon so you will often get updates and all those bug fixes are being done uh, in very good manner so we'll just go now and try to install baboon so you just need to click on this download now button and it will download the zip for you so i have already downloaded it and it is present in my downloads folder so you can see here that baboon is present here so what i'll do i will try to extract it so you can see my file is getting extracted from zip to this folder and everything is being dumped inside this baboon 1.2.0 folder so let it complete and it has completed now i'll open it so you just need to double click on the install.bat and it will try to install baboon audio operating system so i'll click it double click it and it will try to install it so you can see here how fast is it is installing one thing that you need to understand that it is making some directory somewhere so where it is making in c drive and in users and there raj ranjan which is my name and there they are creating dot baboon folder which is a hidden folder so in linux environment we have a concept of home folder so every user has their own folder same way in windows same thing is done by this inside the users folder and the name of that person so the currently logged in person is raj ranjan so there is a folder present and all those configuration means we are mimicking the concept of home folder in windows so all the files are getting installed here so it will take some time let it in, let it install and then we'll come again so baboon has successfully installed and you can see after installing it has opened baboon for me so i'll close it for now and i'll go to the folder c drive and inside c drive i'll go to users inside that this is my home directory and i'll go inside and you can see whole lot of folders are present here and one folder that you will find here is .baboon which is a hidden folder and this is the files that has been installed when we have clicked that install.bat file now you can uninstall it by clicking here uninstall.bat but currently we are not doing it so this is the sigwin thing that has been installed and you can see all the exe and files are being created here so we will not go into the detail of this now so what we will do I will go to my desktop so if i'll go to my desktop then this baboon icon has been created and if i double click it then this is my shell that is that has been opened this is the baboon shell now to 
increase the font size i will click control and plus so you can see the font size getting increased uh, increased so i'll fire this command ls so you can see that ls says bin is present here so i'll go inside my d drive by typing cd d colon and inside d drive I'll, I'll go inside the workspace folder now i'll do ls which is a command in linux so you can see it is listing all the folders and file i'll say ls minus lrth and it will give me the details of this file this is directory this is a say a simple file when it was created and who created it who, who has the permission so you can see i can fire this ls command now to configure this cell i'll right click on it here you can see my mouse is here and i'll click right click here and you can see there are options so inside the options you can configure your baboon cell so for the looks foreground etc you can do here for the text you can change the font so uh, this currently we are using this lucida console so what we'll do we'll say that we want the font as consolas and you can increase the font size also here from here or either you can press ctrl plus to increase the font size so i'll say okay and i'll say apply so you can see the fonts font has been changed and i'll say okay and again i will increase the font size using ctrl plus plus so you can see now the font size is looking good and it gives us a very good feel that the fonts are looking good i'll again go to options and inside option i'll go for text we have seen and then we'll go for keys there is nothing we should do here and then there's window now when you open this terminal then what is present here a left scroll bar that you can see so it gives us a very bad look so we don't want this left scroll bar so we'll say scroll bar equal to none and we'll apply so you can see the scroll bar has gone so everything is now fine and we'll do okay now we can make this shell as a complete full screen shell by pressing the button alt and enter in windows so i'll say alt and enter and you can see it has become full screen so you can see how cool it is looking how good it is looking means it is one of the best shell in windows that i have worked with so i'll fire the ls command and suppose i want to open vim so you can open vim in windows by installing this baboon so first i'll do what vim and i'll say test.js file so you can see the file has opened and i'll go to insert mode and i can type something here this i'll type a comment this is javascript file so the comment is present here i can create an object with variable obj equal to this so you can see that we can create files using vim so vim is present there then you uh, by default you get this python so we'll say python version so to python 2.7.8 is present inside baboon then git is present inside baboon so i'll clear the screen and there's a package manager that is packed so i'll say packed minus minus help and it will give me that this is a package manager which you can use so you can search for packages from find here you can install like we do yum install you can do packed install and this so suppose we want to install tmux tmux is a terminal multiplexer so we'll say pack install tmux now you can see that it is downloading tmux and it is installing it so you can see means it just works like linux as we are familiar with working with linux so now you can see i'll type the command clear this will clear my screen i can type the command tmux and it is not working so we need i think there's some problem in tmux but we got the concept of installing uh, packages through packed so packed install and then the name of the package you can tell and it will install it we have the curl command we have wget command so all these linux commands are available here so you can see how cool it is to work with baboon so this was all about how to install baboon and how to use baboon so please install baboon and try to use it in windows it is very cool uh, software and you will love it when you will use it so this was all about for this video if you like my channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video then please give a thumbs up thank you